at the end of this video you'll be able to create beautiful models like this one in a couple of minutes right so today i'm going to show you this absolutely beautiful component library that's a headless component library and it's using tailwind css so if you can couple this with tailwind it's even easier to work with i'm going to be creating an example here today as you can see from the beginning of the video it's going to be a model or a dialogue and we're going to create a very easy to use reusable model for let's say confirming and canceling an action i have created a next.js project it's just an empty screen as you can see if we go back to the vs code it's just a next.js project it's the latest version of 13.4.4 and we're gonna get started from here so the first thing i did is i got back into the headless ui and i installed it so we're gonna go back to the page and we're gonna go back to the dialogue and install this so we're gonna say npm install at headless ui react so once you install this you can close everything and not worry about it and we can jump straight into the code right so let's say that we want a model that's going to confirm or cancel an action okay and we want it to be reusable so let's first create a component directory and inside of it let's say a model let's say confirm model.dsx okay and inside of this model we're going to export a default function and let's call it confirm model and now we have to return from the example that's on the headless ui site i'm going to just copy some code in and i'm going to show you an ex uh, what's exactly happening here okay so this is the first thing it's it's going to be full of errors but this is the first thing we're going to uh, look at and see what's happening so we have to import fragment from react and we have to import dialog and transition from the headless ui okay now as you can see here we have a transition that's given to us by the headless ui and it will help us make the animations for the model so that it pops in naturally without any you know jank so that it doesn't appear instantly this is a backdrop that we have and inside of our component here is the actual html or jsx as you can see, as you would say so inside of this dialog panel we're gonna add our actual model contents and we can absolutely do anything we want here right so i've just added these styles because i like to use them like this and i've also inspired myself let's say from the the headless ui site and we're gonna modify this so that it takes props and that it takes title description and a cancel and a confirm button so that we can create a very usable component so because i'm using typescript let's create an interface here let's say interface confirm model props and let's give it a title it's going to be a string a description if i can spell correctly a string now we need to see if the model is open so we're going to say is open it's going to be a boolean and as you can see here from the example i already placed that in but we deleted it because we have to we want to do the, the example from from zero right and we're going to add a handle cancel action which is going to be returning a void and let's say handle confirm action is going to be the same void okay now let's add all of these properties here props we're going to say confirm model props and let's add them add them one by one so say title description is open handle cancel and the handle confirm action okay now we just have to put them in basically so we're going to say title and we're going to place the title in here we're going to say description and we're going to place the description there let me just move this to a one line okay so yes lint does not agree with me not a problem and we're going to place the confirm and the cancel buttons here but i don't like the default buttons right 
So I'm just going to create my own button. So let's go to components, create a button and export a default function button. Let's return a button and let's just add so that the button takes anything. Uh, it takes children as a as props. So we're going to say interface button props. And let's say children and it's going to be a react node. Second one. Okay, nice. Now we're going to say children here and we're going to say button props okay and let's put children here now i'm gonna add some default styles here let's say we're gonna say class name padding of two margin of two we're gonna say it's a background of blue 500 text is gonna be white and let's leave it let's say it's rounded and let's leave it at that and check how it looks after we add the buttons here. So let's add a button here. Button. And let's say confirm. And let's add a second button here. That says cancel. Okay. Now we're going to give them an event events. So we're going to say on click. And we should probably pass the on click event here. So we're going to say on click. And... Right now, I'm not going to type it as best as I can because I'm going to show you an example here. And let's pass the on click event here. Okay. And I'm going to say on click. And it's going to be handle confirm action. And we're going to do the same for the cancel button. So I'm going to say on click handle cancel action. Okay. Now our model is practically done. We have to go back to our page here and import it. And the good thing about this is you can say confirm model. And now, as you can see, it asks the props from, from us. And let's say title is my title. Description is going to be, are you sure you want to do this? Uh, we have to say if it's open. So we have to import use state. We're going to say const is open. And we're going to say set is open. And it's going to be false at the beginning. And what I like to do is add a type here. It's going to be boolean. Now is open is going to be equal to is open, of course. And now when we close the model, I want the model, the, the model to disappear, basically which means I have to set its state to false. And when we confirm, let's say I just want to confirm an action. Let's just create an alert here. You did it. Okay. Now that should potentially work because we're using Next.js. Next.js 13.4, it should not, but let's check the browser. So once we go back to our browser here, it says... Use state, yeah, use client. We have to import use client at the top. So let's say we have to go to the top and let's say use client. Okay, now that we've added this, let's check the browser again. And yeah, it disappeared. So everything is good to go now. So now we have to add the controls for this so that the model can actually be opened and closed. So let's say we have to add a button here. It's going to say open model. And I'm going to add an event listener here. It's going to say an on click event here. That's going to say set is open to true, right? And once we add this, I have to import the button. So let's say quick fix. We imported the button and let's check the browser here. So we have the open model, we click on it, and there you go. We have a beautiful model. Now the buttons are kind of ugly, but luckily they're not the part of the tutorial, right? So once we click confirm, open the confirm alert, and once we click cancel, it closes the model, and it has animations. And we practically did this in, let's see, it's... 60 lines of code yeah it's 60 lines of code 
and it's it takes like five six lines here to have a completely customizable model and a very very maintainable model that we can use in almost everything so whenever you have to confirm something or cancel it you can just import this component and just have it open and close when you want i also should add an change in state here so that it closes when we confirm the when we confirm the action so let's just go back to our browser again let's confirm and it closes itself now you know how to make beautiful components that are very easy to implement with headless ui